Hi guys, welcome to our Maths Sunny channel. I am Tapus Mukherjee, the visiting lecturer of the different BTEC, MB and MCA college in West Bengal and all over India. In the last 25 years, we will discuss today one important topic under non-verbal test of reasoning, how unfolded dies to fold. When a box is unfolded and after folding we have to make the box, we have to find out what are the opposite surfaces. So most important topic, unfolded dice to fold, today's topic. Today's our new topic, how unfolded dice to fold. So we have given the picture, these are all our unfolded dice. And after folding, you have to make a cube, proper dice. You have to find out which are the opposite faces. Let us consider this horizontal line, this horizontal line, this horizontal vertical, both lines are there. I have to count which are the maximum length. These are maximum length, 1, 2, 3, 4. So first of all, start from here. Skip one box to this box. So 5 opposite 2 and 2 opposite 5. Now 1, opposite is 4. 1 opposite is 4, 4 opposite is 1. Then 3 opposite 6, 6 opposite 3. 3 opposite 6, 6 opposite 3. I have to select from here. We can get the maximum box. So start from here. Skip one box. 2 to 5. Then 4 to 6. Then 1 to 3. So we can find easily which are the opposite phase. 2 opposite phase is 5. 5 opposite phase 2. 4 opposite phase 3. 6. 6 opposite phase 4, 1 opposite 3, 3 opposite 1. From here, this to this, 4 opposite 6 and 6 opposite 4. 1 to 5, 1 opposite 5, 5 opposite 1. And 2 to 3, 2 opposite 3, 3 opposite 2. Similarly here, select maximum horizontal line or vertical line. This and this, A opposite B, B opposite A. D opposite E, skip one box. D opposite D, E opposite D. And C opposite F, F opposite C. <coughs> Similarly, Y opposite P, P opposite Y, Z opposite R, Z opposite R, and X opposite U, X opposite U. Similarly here, 1 opposite 5, then 3 opposite 6, then 2 opposite 4. So always start from the horizontal or vertical line where we can get the maximum box. Start one box, keep one box, then one box. So 5, 2, 1, 4, 3, 6. 2, 5, 4, 6, 1, 3. 6, 4, 1, 5, 2, 3. A, B, D, E, C, F. Similarly, Y, P, Z, R and X, Q. 1, 5, 3, 6 and 2, 4. So very easily we can find which are the opposite phases. Now, unfolded dice, this is our second format, these are very, very important for the TCL also. Now, they are giving this type of pattern. They are giving 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Say A, then B, then C, then D, then E, then F, <coughs> then X, Y, Z, P, Q, R. Now you have to find out which are the opposite faces. Remember, to solve this type of problem, you have to control the jet formation. Say, if I move here this way, I can move per perpendicularly then again this way. So jet formation. This line, this line should be parallel. If I move it this way, one, then two, then again three. First line, third line parallel. If I move this, this way, then we can go this way. Then we can go this way. This line, this line parallel, same. So apply the same rule. If I start from anywhere, from here. 1, then 2, then 3. So 1 opposite 4. If I start from 5. 1, then 2, then 3. 5 opposite 3. If I start from here. 1, then 2, then 3. 2 opposite 6. If I make mistake here, say. If I start from here. Then 1, then 2 lock. So back 1, then 2, then 3. So 4 opposite 1. 
Applying same rule. Study from here. 1, 2 and 3. 6 opposite 5. Study from here. 1, 2 and 3. 2 opposite 4. Study from here. 1, 2 and 3. 1 opposite 3. Applying same rule. 1, 2, 3. B opposite D. Study from here. 1, 2 and 3. C opposite D. Study from here. 1, 2 and 3. A opposite F. If I say here, start from here, 1, then 2, then 3. So, x opposite p. If I start from here, 1, 2 and 3, y opposite q. If I start from here, 1, 2 and 3, z opposite r. So, very easy if you can remember how to control, how to minimize our time. This is very much important in a non-verbal test reasoning. Find out the unfold dice to fold. And after folding, what are the opposite phases? So many, many thanks for watching this video. Please share, subscribe and push your bell icon so that you will be notified in proper time. I hope you have enjoyed the classes.